Hey folks, just ordered a couple of items from Magnum. Uh, one is the charge controller, PT100. And this one is the panel. Uh, it's pre-wired and it can handle the the inverter and other Magnum stuff that I have. Also, this goes, the charge controller goes on the side of it. So I'm gonna unbox them and, and see what's inside. Okay, this is the panel MMP 250 30D. Uh, it comes pre-wired and all the cables, connectors and what you have. That's the date it was packed. Here's the manual. There are the screws, the bracket for the charge controller, network cables, wires, the splitter to work with the display. Some more cables and wires. Let's see what it says here. AC wire kit. That's nice. That's the top hood that will go on the top of the inverter to prevent dust and debris fall into it. And here's the panel itself. It's got a 200 and 50 amp DC disconnect and some AC AC input inverter AC output and AC bypass and it's got the nice safety on it too partially what's inside I have to open it up and it comes with the shunt for the battery monitor kit and this is where the battery monitor kit gets installed it's got all the bus bars in the bottom the negative and the positive and the ground connections and also in the front, this is the inside of it, you can mount the MRC or RC display. So everything will be united on this 
unit and this will go on the wall. Got a nice Magnum logo in the front. And I'll, I'm glad to be able to clean out the mess that is in the garage right now. Go take a look. All these cablings, the charge controllers, and maybe these charging stations gonna be moved and that unit's gonna be installed here and this is gonna move it's gonna go on the panel and the inverter gonna go sit on the top of it and all this mess hopefully gonna be less but you guys knowing me I still be doing my tests and comparison and see how it works okay let's go open up the the charge controller let me move this down so stand by please okay you open up Here's the manual. I'm surprised it's not in the plastic bag as they always usually do that. All right. Again, we have the network cable display cable, the battery temperature sensor, the back bracket, and here is the controller, oh, heavy. Okay, let me take the plastic off and we'll go through the, the charge controller closely. Stand by, please. Okay. Here is the display. And if I can zoom in. Yeah, this phone doesn't want to zoom in. So I'll tell you, this shows the PV array, volts, kilowatt, battery bank volts, and amps. It has an LED for bulk charge, absorb, float, a fault light, and auxiliary. So it has a relay in it. It's got two switches. You go to the menu and select whatever you want. It has a reset, and both of them will equalize your batteries. Again on the top it has a hood to prevent things things fall inside and uh, reduce the dust and on the side the label made in USA and all the cautions and warning label 
got a big knockout here and it's got a big massive heat sink in the back that with the spacer that came it allows the air to flow from the back and cool it off it's got two intakes for the fan more knockouts on the bottom and on this side it shows the manufacturing date and it's CE approved and all the information so there you go uh, I'm going to open the front cover and take a look at it, so allow me some time, thanks. Okay, got the front cover off. It has a nice background here of the wirings and all the factory installed connections. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knockouts if you want to install additional breakers. As it said, for DC breakers back mounted, thin rail terminal, And we will have the option if you want to go with back mount, move this or you go with the back mount breaker install. It's heavy duty built. And I like this wiring. And the shunt already installed. Very heavy duty. That goes where the inverter sits on top. And just you drop it in and you wire it up. This is where the negative goes and the positive. Two hundred and fifty amps. That's great. And we have all these already installed with the safety. That's great. That is where the inverter output goes. So I have to make a soft panel with the proper breakers and wire it to the soft panels. That's the input from the inverter. And it's pretty nicely made. Got a PV positive bus bar, DC negative, ground. That's great, everything is wired up. And these are the mounts for the charge controller. So we'll have a one unit, the inverter is gonna be on the top. The battery monitoring kit is gonna be inside. And there you go, you have a nice clean system and here's the charge controller inside got the network cables if you want to stack them network battery temperature sensor the dip switches 
which I like because if you're on the network then nobody can mess with your charge controller unlike the other ones that you can hack into them and change the parameters and it's got big logs I don't know why it's not zooming or focusing. But anyways, it has big logs. So you can put big gauge cables on it. It's got a ground bus bar and this is the relay auxiliary connection it has built-in arc uh, ground fault over temperature it is well protected and I cannot wait till I put it all together and fire it up. This is the cover that I removed. It shows all the functions with the different switches on the dip switch. So there we go guys. That's gonna be my new project and hopefully we'll get a chance to fire it up together and see how it does. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. And thank you for following me and wish me luck, guys.